country was rocked by the violent deaths of six teenagers, including two at the hands of police on Wednesday. But community activist Hal Graves, better known as Uncle Roy, says the deaths did not impact youths in East Port of Spain in the way the news affected many citizens. As Jonathan Chase tells us, Uncle Roy says boys living in at-risk communities have grown so disenchanted that some of them welcome and even plan for their own deaths. Hal Uncle Roy Graves, a community activist and comedian, says youth in at-risk communities now believe that a long life is not a goal. Our children believe in death. A young man told me, Uncle Roy, you only live this life one way, dead. It does not make sense planning for life. What you have to wow. plan for is your death. Mm. He says from as early as Form 3, some boys in these communities drop out of school and enter a life of crime and begin to prepare for death. Because you don't want to leave your parents with that burden. You buy your coffee, you pay down on your funeral. You work out with your friends who will print jersey, the pictures of themselves on their jersey. They work out their funerals. Gary Grant, a pastor who works with at-risk youth, says that the need for intervention in these communities is urgent. But he stresses that the focus must be on reaching children before they are exposed to gang culture. When the, the child is young, that is when they try and do things that could nurture that child's mind and get them out of the culture that they might be seeing or probably growing accustomed to because they live within the community. In response to the violent flare-up on Wednesday, the Prime Minister and a party of cabinet ministers toured East Port of Spain on Thursday to work on a plan to reduce violence in the area. Jonathan Chase, C News.